Alright guys, so I'm filming this. I'm actually still at the bank. And um, this is kind of cool. So um, I went to this bank. They had a bunch of pennies and a bunch of nickels. Um, they had 75 in pennies. Um, and 100 in nickels. And then I got... And this bag is 70 in dimes. Now, I open this box, and I'm pretty sure these are hunted. Um, they got stuff, little stuff that with a sharpie on them. They're all the same type. But I'll still take through these and pull out the copper. It's probably something I'll do tonight. Um, so th that's pretty much a dud, I'm guessing. Uh, the nickels, I'm not sure. Um, Looks like a lot of these may be searched, but there are a couple different types of rolls in here. Um, so I don't know on that. But, so the, but these, I was actually very surprised by these. Um, these, I believe, are bank boxes. Um, yeah, I had no idea. Um, and they're, they're the Brinks rolls. So, that is actually really cool. Um, I guess these are machine boxes. Um, I didn't know that at all until I uh, got them in the car and took a look at them. Here's this one. There you go. Some of these in there too. Yeah. But yeah, I thought so that was kind of cool. Um, I'll do these. So anyway, guys, um, I want to give an update. We are stopped. Um, <clears throat> I was going to go to another bank, but um, I have a lot of coins, and I don't have um, a ton of money left because um, I had a ton. And it was already kind of rushing, so I wasn't able to buy too much. But, um... Yeah, that was a great score at one bank. I'm pretty sure that those other two penny boxes are bank boxes. Um, I've seen other people get them before. Um, I just, I just, just, I've never, just never seen that type before. Um, usually the boxes that I get are, you know, sealed with glue or tape. Um, like the tall boxes are sealed with tape. The Loomis boxes are sealed with glue. Um, but these weren't sealed at all. Uh, I'm guessing they just got rolled that way. So, um, I still gotta confirm that they're bank wrapped rolls and they're not just rolls someone re-rolled. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're two bank boxes. Um, the other penny box, I'm almost positive is Surge, but you never know. Same with the nickels, you never know. Um, <clears throat> I did see a, at least one cop render when I was looking at some of the penny rolls. Um, so, I'll at least look through those and pull out all the copper. Um, the nickels, I'm a little, uh, the pennies I'm a little more sure are searched. Um, the nickels, uh, I don't know, they probably still are. But, um, <clears throat> I got a bunch of dimes as well, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is hunt the box worth of pennies, the box with the nickels, and the dimes all in one video. And add it to either this video, or add it to another, um set of clips that I have on my phone uh, that are from a mixed hunt so um, I'll either do that and then I'll probably still do separate videos on the two penny boxes I don't know I might make it a two box hunt video um, but I don't know we'll see um, but yeah I just want to give you guys that update because I kind of stopped to the video abruptly um, um, my dad went to uh, the store while I was showing you those and he came back so um, yeah, uh, I'll see if I can maybe get a better look at home, uh, check for enders. Um, it looks like most of the rolls are Brinks wrapped, um, which I've never really got the hugest chance to hunt before. Whenever I've gotten those, it's either been uncirculated pennies or I've only got like five or ten bucks worth. Um, so those will be interesting to hunt. Um, I did even see one roll that was... Um, NF string and sun wrapped, so I don't know why that's in there um, But yeah, I just want to give you guys that update because we're stopped right now um, and Yeah, great score
Alright guys, so this is the next day, and I've hunted the nickels, and just like I thought, just like I suspected, there was nothing in there. Um, they were looked through. Um, I did pull out a couple of these nickels, which I believe are improperly annealed. Uh, it has a very dark tone to it, the edge does as well. Um, got a 2017D, and then a 2013, the first one that I found. So those are kind of cool. Um, I found a few of those. I found one in dimes before. Um, and I didn't have a few rolls of dimes. I did get a couple Canadians. I didn't film it, um, because, other than now, because I didn't really find anything else. But we got those, and then a, uh, coin to check against the books. So, not much. Um, and the pennies, I just gave, pretty much just gave up on the pennies. Um, I looked through a few rolls, and I didn't see anything interesting at all in there, so... That's that. Um, nothing really to note um, other than the foreigns and two possible errors. But I still have those two penny boxes, so um, hopefully we'll find something good in there. Um, and uh, yeah, I have a couple other dimes set aside. They're ones that are nicer than ones that I think I have. Um, so I mean, I'll have to replace them in the rolls. But these are just ones that I think might be nicer than the ones I have in my book. So I set those aside. Um, but yeah, nothing really too uh, interesting. Um, anyway, I just want to give that little update because I didn't update you guys since yesterday. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, um, this is uh, a second bank hunt. Um, I haven't... Um, I, I don't think I've really ever done two bank hunts in a week. But, um, now, this, I'm just filming these set of clips. I don't, I don't expect this to happen, the bank cut to happen today. But, um, this, I'm, I'm filming it October 6th. So, um, I'll just refer to it as today for now. So, um, I'll be, hopefully, um, uh, well, this is also a different kind of bank hunt. It's similar to the last few clips in that, I've already called one of the banks. Now, one of the hardest denominations for me to get, uh, probably the hardest, has been dimes. And I've always wanted to do a dime hunt ever since I had that epic $250 batch. Um, and I called a bank and they had a bunch of dimes. Um, the limit is $100 there, but sometimes they make exceptions if they have a lot that they're trying to get rid of. Um, I did look through those half dollars and they're right here. They're all rolled up. Uh, different kinds of wrappers, because I didn't have my own wrappers. I'm going to roll dollar coins, which that should make it easier to turn in, because one of the banks I go to, they, like, are very stingy about what rolls I get, like, how many. And uh, they're very, they, um, anyway, I've told you about that bank. But they're very, it's very stressful in that bank, so hopefully considering it's, like, only rolls of half dollars and dollar coins it's going to be easier to turn in, and then I can subsequently go to that other bank and get the dimes. Um, I'm going to try to get um, one of the, in total that bank had like two boxes worth, one guy had like $300. Um, I don't have that much cash on me right now, um, this is about it. But I'm going to turn them in and um, see what else I can possibly get. Um, and you guys might not end up seeing the clip of me hunting the half dollars, because I'll be honest, I didn't really find much in there. Um, so I might end up deleting this clip if I have to continue this video onto any, onto a bank hunt. So, you'll hear me talking about the half dollars that I hunted, but I might not even include the video. Because I might delete it for more space. So, I'm going to do that. Um, I don't know filming-wise if I'll do it today. I'm going to try to. Um, but yeah. Let's get in the car and get those dimes. Alright, I'm just leaving that bank and um i uh <clears throat> did exchange all of my coin for cash so um i got that taken care of i didn't actually think i'd be able to exchange all of it especially since it was looks like it was a new teller there um but it seems like the tellers just just don't care how much i turn in like um even the tellers that are usually there i didn't know if i'd be able to turn in that much but uh, they seem very glad to take the coins, so um, that's good. I'm going to go over to the other bank now. Um, it is bank-wrapped rolls, which I don't typically do the best in. 
well, I mean, I've never found silver, but I've never hunted too many. Um, it's 20 rolls, so hopefully I can get something, um, maybe a proof, maybe a variety. Uh, that'd be good. Um, and, you know, um, if the half dollars I can tell their search, I might see if I can maybe get something else while I'm there. Um, get a little bit of pennies or something to go along with it. Um, so, yeah, see you at the bank. Alright guys, um, I'm going to do another one of these videos, I'm going to do another bank hunt. Um, <clears throat> now, I haven't, <clears throat> the last time I did one of these was, um, not truly a bank hunt, it was more of just like, picking coins up, but I'm going to do an actual bank hunt, but, um, I had, um, I was doing, um, a bunch of bank calling yesterday, and I called a bank that has a box of half dollars and um i can't i wasn't can't buy all of it right now so i said can i just buy a few rolls out of the box um so i'm gonna buy two hundred dollars worth of half dollars and um the, i mean if there's five hundred dollar box they're gonna be bankroll likely um hopefully not a five hundred box that someone turned in i don't think so i get the feeling they just recently got it um and i'm just hoping that it's not all 2022s because that's been happening to people um, so, um, I first am going to return at, um, another branch. Um, I have a lot of coins. I don't usually return this much, um, but I'm only going to this branch to return stuff. So, um, I'll see how much if I can return. Hopefully I can return pretty much all of it. Um, and, um, yeah, so I'll try that and I'll see, um, if I can get, the, those half dollars, um, and, uh, I'll bring you in along the way. This is the bank. I'm going to head in there right now and I'll see if I can get those halves or anything else cool. Hey guys, so, um, as you saw from my last clip, I ended up deciding not to put those half dollar clips in. I did take a screenshot, um, so that way I can at least kind of explain, um, uh, the roles. Um, but, um, I don't believe I've ever done a, a bank hunt where it's two different, uh, clips in one video. So, um, as I said, I'm gonna return all of my half dollars it shouldn't be too hard um because it is all i mean you know it's all half dollars and one roll of dollar coins and usually that bank um gives me grief when uh it's like all different denominations um it's not as much it's not nearly as much um so hopefully that should be a lot easier um and uh as I said, they probably think I've been shorting them, because, uh... Um, because, I mean, you know, this, pretty much what I do is, if I get custom wrap rolls, I reuse those. I don't, like, I don't rip them open, because I want to reuse the wrappers, so I don't have to get more. But if they're ones that I can't use, or they're bank wrapped, I use my own. So, sometimes, like, the ones with the crimped end make the roll look like it has more coins in it, or less coins in it, so... Um... With half dollars, it's pretty easy to tell. I don't have any rolls that have crimped ends on them, so... Um... It should be much more smooth process um, of getting those turned in for cash. So, um, hopefully I'll do that, and then I'll go and get the dimes. Uh, the only concern about the dimes is that, um... One, I'm hoping they're customer wrapped. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can maybe ask that. Um, I don't know if you know, they would even know, but I'm going to see if I can maybe ask and see, um, because, um, if they're, I mean, you know, I'll take them anyway, but, um, if they're, I'm hoping that one, they're customer wrapped and two, it's not all like the same type of roll. Um, that's how it's been with pennies and nickels at this bank lately. It's been like all the same type of roll. So I'm hoping um, that it's all different types of rolls, which is usually good for me with dimes. 
Um, so I'm going to do that and um, see if I can manage to get those. Or if not, maybe try to get some quarters or something. I um, haven't done too many quarter hunts. So I'm going to go and see what I can do and um, I'll let you know what I find. Alright guys, I know I said that I was going to get all dimes, but they had a bunch of coins, so I figured why not pick up some a lot of it. Um, a lot of this I think might be Search. Um, a lot of these are the same types of rolls. Um, I don't know though, I know these pennies are here, um, because they have a lot line on them. I know she said a coin collector had turned those in, so. So, um, yeah, I do have, uh, with nickels, I do have some of these. Which I think are, I think are actually bank wrapped rolls. Um, they're just in the clear wrap. Um, I got a few of those here and then I did get some quarters. Again, same type of rolls, so that could be risky. Um, and again, some of the dime rolls look short, as you can see. So, I don't really know what to think about a lot of this. I don't know if, um, it's just someone turning in their coins. Um... But I got, in total, I got, there is 20 and a half dollars, uh, probably at the bottom somewhere. Here's a roll, right here. There's a roll. Um, so I did get 20 and halves. Um, so it's 20 and halves, um, 80 and quarters, 70 and dimes, uh, 50 and nickels, and 15 and pennies. Uh, these I don't expect much out of, not even, I don't even really expect any copper in there. Um, as I'm checking some of the ends, I do see, like, that one looks copper right there. So... I don't know, maybe they're not pulling out their copper. Um, I'm actually gonna see if I can do this roll of halves live. See if there's, yeah, I don't see anything. I'll look through the other roll later. Um, actually, you know what, I'll pause this and I'll look through it right now real quick.